contemporaries were bringing their offerings to the altar in the Jewish temple and they remember that someone has something against them they should first be reconciled with their brother or sister and only then present their offerings the scribes and the Pharisees were hypocrites they were hypocrites. They did not understand the word of God. God invites all of us today to reconcile with one another. My dear friends, sometimes I have heard people say, wherever I go, Father, why do people go to church? Said because they love God, they are faithful, and then they continue. Do they practice Christianity? I said, I don't know. Then someone continues, I have a friend of mine, I have a brother, I have my wife, I have so and so. He or she goes to church every day, but there is no change. Even people who don't go to church are better than him or her. Said, what? So even in these days, my dear friends, we do have scribes and the Pharisees who are hypocrites. They know they have wrongs, issues, and they cannot said to such things. Jesus is inviting us today to reconcile with one another. Look at our families, where we come from. They are issues and sometimes they start as small. Let us pray, my dear friends, that we become true Christians the Lord will always send us out to work to be reconciled with those who have something against us. We may not succeed in our efforts, but the Lord calls on us to be prepared always to make the first move. Go and be reconciled. Jesus declares we have to make the first move. Sometimes we hear people say, is the one who did something against me. He or she has to come to me. That is again pride. Jesus is telling us we have to make the first move. That's why he has said, if you are bringing your gift to the altar and you remember that there is oh wait a minute there is someone who has wrongs with me whom I am not okay with leave your gift first you go and reconcile to the other person and then you will be able to offer your sacrifice to offer your gift of self to God we are not just waiting for others to take the initiative. We have to make the move. Even if in doing so we fail, the Lord took the initiative to reconcile us to himself through his life, death, and resurrection. 
He calls on us to be as ready as he was to take the same initiative when a relationship needs reconciliation. Let us pray, my dear friends, that today we take the first move because we are Christians. We need to practice what we profess. Jesus on the cross said, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they are doing. And when we, we read our Father, we say, forgive us our sins as we do forgive those who trespass against us. Do we really practice that? I tell you, unless you, you surpass that of the scribes and Pharisees, we have to go beyond, my dear friends. Let us pray and think. Take a minute today and say, Lord, whom do I have an issue with? Give me courage to forgive. Give me courage to ask forgiveness. He might be your child, your friend, a relative, and you have been pondering every day. Pray, God will give you grace. It is hard, but to be a Christian, we have to go beyond. Let us pray that today our righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees. Amen. Thank you for participating in the digital liturgy today. The digital ministry touches the lives of many people, as does almost 80 other ministries here at OLPH. Grateful for the community uh, that connects to OLPH through this digital forum. It's unbelievable how many people are able to access the liturgy and other events because of this ministry. Please consider supporting OLPH all of your sacrifices help to sustain this parish and to keep moving us into the future. Thank you very much and keep watching.